Hi everyone, my name is Arvind Olano. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but in today's video, we are transforming the closet that's in my office into the most amazing built-in shelf moment. So, to be fair, if you've been following me for a while, you would know that I've already transformed this spare closet into like this desk shelf clothis situation and you know it was cute it was cool it was actually like a kind of a diy project we hired someone to put the shelves in andrew and i covered it with like a wood veneer so that it would look kind of finished and done but to be honest with you diy is just not my thing i can't make something and it turn out to be like completely finished and you know, just beautiful and up to the standards that I want it to be. So when we did this DIY, the wood veneer is it just like, it started to peel off in the corners and it just wasn't cute. I actually stopped using that space as a desk area a long time ago and I stopped showing and photographing that little area because the DIY was just not the best. <laughs> so I was scrolling through Instagram the other day and I saw the designer of the Lifestyle Co, Kristen. She revealed the most amazing built-in shelves in her new home. And it, I, I think it was just all drywall, but I loved the scale. I loved where it was. And I was like, oh my gosh. I have the most amazing drywall guy. He can totally do this. Okay, so first I need to sketch out the idea. And something that I really wanna do is an arched top for the shelf. And I think I want to do one, two, and three. I'm gonna make these shelves 65 inches in length, 14 inches in depth, and about 16 inches high. That way I have enough room for all of my decor. Now that I have my very rough sketch, I'm gonna go on Pinterest, just so I can get maybe some real life photos of an example that I can send my drywall guy. That way he has a reference. Okay, I found the perfect example and it's almost exactly what I'm looking for. Take a look at this one. It doesn't look like it's plaster, but it's the same idea and the same concept that I'm thinking about. It's just very simple, very clean. I'm definitely gonna save this image and I'm gonna find another one to show him. This last image is probably the best example because it shows the three smaller shelves and one larger arch. I really want the arch to be as dramatic as possible, so I'm of course gonna send him this image as well. It's been a few days since I sent over the images to our drywall guy and they're actually already here in my office working on the project. I'm not gonna lie, Miguel and his team worked so fast. I had to go to an appointment really quick and I couldn't film in my office right away. And I kid you not, they already have the shelves up. Like they took the whole thing down, they started doing framing. I did get footage of them kind of cutting this little template for the arch. Oh my gosh, you guys. He literally did it with one hand. He was like, boop, 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 boop. and <laughs> I was shocked because I, mm. Framing went in and then you guys, okay. I made the mistake of not like asking all the questions because when they put the framing up, the picture that they referenced was this one right here where there's kind of a hollow area where the arch is, and that's not what I wanted. When I realized he referenced the wrong photo, I freaked out. I wanted the look where it was like completely like plastered and drywalled so that it's a nice clean finish, 
Oh, I felt so bad because I had to tell Miguel like, I'm so sorry, but you're gonna have to like fix it. Mm. Luckily, he was able to make the change and it took him a few more hours, but he was able to kind of smooth everything out. At this point, everything was happening so fast and before I knew it, the shelves were done. Oh my gosh. I still can't believe that Miguel and his team basically finished the shelves in like a day and a half. It's looking so good. I just wanna finish the shelves like right now, but Andrew and I are actually getting ready to go to California. We're doing a little um, birthday celebration for him at the Santa Monica Proper Hotel. It'll give us enough time for the shelves to cure and get ready for lime wash when we get back. been about a week since my last checkup. We actually just got back from Los Angeles, but I want to show you the shelves. Are you dying right now? Oh my gosh, it is so perfect. Our drywall guy finished priming it this weekend. And of course, we are going to lime wash the entire office again. <laughs> Before, the lime wash was kind of there, kind of not. I'm going to be using, okay. Color Atelier sent us their brand new color. It's called Santos. And you're gonna see here in a second, we're gonna layer a regular color and a lighter color to get the most texture here in the office. Here I am testing the color on the wall and I really wanted the office to have this sand beige lime wash color and I think this is perfect. It is day two of lime washing the shelves in the office. Let's go inside. Let's take a look at how the paint dried. Yesterday, it was a little nuts, a little scary, but let's, let's see, I think it should be okay now. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, the house is so messy. Here we go. Okay. Okay, hello. It's showing up true to color on camera, I think. It's a very warm, beige and don't worry once we put the second coat on it's gonna take care of all of those blank spots and again <laughs> we have our dyson in here actually to kind of help um, with the air circulation okay here's the shelves um yeah it's looking great we have our second coat right down here okay which is going to be the same color but 50 percent lighter I didn't think this project was gonna take as long as it did, but it's kind of a learning process when it comes to lime wash. You wanna make sure you get the right texture and color. Let me get you a little up close of the shelves. So here's what the shelves are looking like. You can see I started to do some brush strokes on the front so I can get that effect that I've been looking for of like old, worn down. I think this is the final stretch, <laughs> hopefully. I have a detail brush just so I can get those little brush strokes in a darker color and let's, let's go. It's reveal day today. We are off to my favorite floral shop just to get a few little things to shoot for the shelves but first we got some coffee okay so I quickly arranged a really beautiful floral arrangement for the shelves and now we're gonna put a few decor pieces in there because I got rid of that wood 
from the previous design. I really wanted to add lots of warmth, lots of pieces that had a beautiful patina. I sourced a lot of vintage decor from a local antique mall and some pieces from uh, my favorite vintage dealers on Instagram. So let's decorate a little bit and then I'm ready to show you the shelves! The shelves look amazing. So without further ado, here is the reveal in three, two, one. I am just so so happy with the way my shelves turned out. I just, uh, it's even better than I imagined and it really added so much like architectural detail to this tiny little room. I actually sit in this corner a lot to read, to relax. And now I can just, actually let me pull this chair. Now I can bring my little chairs in this corner sit down, relax, I can restyle my shelves. Also, can we just talk about how much warmth the new color is in the office? It's Color Atelier Santos. I think I did it perfectly this time around. Before my shelves and my lime wash was like non-existent and now it just, it really does feel like it's plaster in here now and I'm so, so proud, like you can literally, okay, call me Michelangelo because I painted a masterpiece. <laughs> I'm just like so, so happy. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is probably going to be the new filming background from now on, so whew, sound off below in the description box. Let me know what you think of the transformation. Stay tuned because we have a ton of big projects coming up that I'm filming for YouTube. I know I've been a little MIA here and there, but for a good reason, I promise. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And don't go yet, watch this video next, and I will see you in that video. Bye everyone.